Hello, uh, I hope you're doing well today. Now, uh, today I uh, want us to look at uh, types of resistors, but specifically one. So, types of electrical resistors. A resistor is a device that is designed to offer specific resistance to current flow. We have different types of resistors. Uh, number one, we have fixed resistor. Number two, we have variable resistor. We have special types of resistor, such as number three, thermistor. You can click the link above there to watch uh, how thermistor affects the current flow. Number four, we have a diode, a diode, then number five, we have LDR, that is light dependent resistance. Let's start with uh, this one here, variable resistor. So from the word, from its name, variable means that it's changing. So these are type of resistor whereby its resistance can be varied, can change from zero to a given, a maximum value depending on the the type of uh, that resistor. Now, I uh, want us to use this. Um, you can able to see here, uh, at the top here, it's called a rheostat. So this is a variable resistor, which is having a special name, uh, that is a rheostat. Rheostat. So what I want to show you is uh, how to connect uh, the terminals. It has three terminals. So how do we connect a rheostat or a variable resistor in electrical circuit so that it does what you want it to do. So let's start. Now uh, this is the rheostat. So what is happening here? I've labeled uh, these terminals A, B, C. It doesn't mean that the terminals are called A, B, C. This is just for easy uh, understanding what we're going to do. Now this part is the sliding, uh, it's kind of able to slide from one point to another. So we have the terminal. So what we're going to do is to test, uh, trying to record the current and also observe the, the, the brightness of the bulb, but we're going to focus mainly on the, on the ammeter uh, as we connect. So we're going to connect the, the terminals here to help us understand when we want a rheostat when we want to use a rheostat uh, what do we do what do we need to do and how do we connect so that uh, we get the value so uh, this rheostat here the maximum uh, that is the maximum resistance is 200 and then you can allow the current up to 0 0.8 amps to flow through it So the first one, let's uh, connect uh, this terminal A, terminal A and B, then we make our observation. So we connect that. Connect that. And what you see, it's showing a reading of 0 0.01. So when we connect A and B. current flowing is 0 0.01 that is uh, when A and B is connected what if we slide so we slide from here as we change so as we slide there is no effect so 
So when we connect uh, A and B, there is no effect. The bulb doesn't even light. Uh, the current is too too small for the car, for the bulb to light. Now let's connect. Uh, so let's connect uh, A and C. A and C. A and C. You can see clearly. So when you connect A and C, the bulb is lighting, the bulb is lighting, the bulb is lighting, and the current, so that is uh, A and C, A and C, the bulb is lighting, it's A and C, and the current is 0 0.24 amps, that is when the sliding contact is uh, on this side, so from A. Uh, what if I slide it? So as I slide it towards uh, B, so I'm sliding the contact from A. You can able to observe what is happening to the current flow and uh, the bulb. So I'm so sliding. Uh -huh. So the current is. Uh, 0 0.18 the, the bulb has become dim that means uh, the resistance is increasing so as we increase as we slide from A towards B then I'm going to see the current is decreasing until now on the other side uh, that is the minimum current <coughs> Now you can see, so initially at this particular point, the resistance is uh, zero. This particular point, as you slide it, the resistance is maximum, and the only kind that can able to pass through the real start is 0 0.01. So the resistance here is maximum, which is uh, 200 ohms. The current that can now flow there, the current that can able to flow there now, is 0 0.01 amps which is equivalent to when we connected A and, and B. Now let's observe when we connect uh, B and C. B and C. So B and C, so B is here. Uh, maybe we can start from here. Now uh, so you can see clearly if you connect uh, B and C, the current, so B and C, when the slide contact is on uh, this side, then uh, at this particular point, so the current I is 0 0.01 amps, which is the new current that can able to flow. As you slide the contact towards uh, this, you can able to see the current is uh, to increase the current is increasing and now there is current that is flowing so you can see if you connect uh, B and C then this side here become so the, 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 the resistance is minimum here while maximum this side here but if you connect if you connect A and C if you connect A and C if you connect A and C then this side uh, the the resistance is maximum if the contact slide is on the other side so i hope you now understand